We have to be on fire for the Lord. And of course, we do this through prayer, fasting, uh, reading our word, worshiping the Lord. But whenever I feel that flame start to dwindle, I pray to the Lord and I say, Lord, I want to be on fire for you. <laughs> And I already know what's coming, but it is necessary <laughs> because we can't get too comfortable. Okay, God gives us rest, but it is only to lay down our sword just to pick it back up again because we are in a war. So we have to be on fire for the Lord. So whenever I ask him to set that heart ablaze for him. The enemy comes in <laughs> like a flood. But I know that my God is going to get me through this. And he's going to get you through it too. Okay, don't let that flame die out. Okay, so listen. Isaiah 44, 13. Then the woodcarver measures a block of wood and draws a pattern on it. He works with chisel and plane and carves it into a human figure. He gives a human beauty and puts it in a little shrine. Okay. They are pieces of wood that have carved themselves into what they think a God is. Okay. So God begins to gather up those pieces of wood okay one by one into a pile one enemy at a time okay and then he sparks a fire <laughs> okay a little flame in you so you might get irritated but you pray about it and you stand firm now that little flame is not gonna cut it Okay, so God begins to blow on it. Okay, and it starts getting bigger and bigger. So now the attacks are going to get stronger. But you prayed about it. Okay, you prayed about it. So now you standing solid. This girl is on fire. Okay, so now that big flame start spreading out to all the pieces of wood okay a tiny spark can set a whole forest on fire and fire burns wood you're gonna burn them up okay and now you want fire for the lord and they burnt up <laughs> so listen when the enemy comes in like a flood not if the enemy comes when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. The Redeemer will come to Zion and to those who turn from transgression in Jacob, says the Lord. As for me, says the Lord, this is my covenant with him, my spirit who is upon you and my words, which I have put in your mouth, shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendants, nor from the mouth of your descendants. Descendants, says the Lord, from this time and forevermore. Isaiah 59, 19 through 21. Okay, so don't get too comfortable. Okay, say, Lord, set my heart ablaze and he going to start spark a fire. Okay, but you going to burn up the whole forest. Okay, because he has put his words in your mouth. Okay. Flames of fire will come out of your mouth and burn up the enemy. And now you on fire for the Lord again. Okay, he going to get you through this. I love y'all. Good night.